Hey guys, head on a spike here with another custom minifigure video today for you. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build a version of Padme that LEGO has never done. Uh, this is the version of Padme in Revenge of the Sith when she is like, I, she might even be pregnant at this point with Luke and Leia. And uh, she's like in this really cool looking blue gown. And she's like walking around being all sad and stuff because Anakin's turned to the dark side. And I was like, you know what? I think I know how to make this. So I took it upon myself to give it a shot. So what I did was I gave her this type of rubber hair. This like kind of black. I know she has brown hair in the, in the movie. Oh, there go her legs. Uh, <laughs> it's a little bit fragile because this figure always is that I got it from. Uh, this is really interesting hair. It has like a little hole. Two holes, actually, one on the top and one on the bottom. I guess it's like some sort of princess hair. But as you can see, it's kind of rubbery. I can move it with my fingers and thumb. Uh, it works well for her. If you don't have this hair, then I would recommend just using um, this hair, which is from Hella and tons of other characters like Marion Ravenwood have this hair as well. They both work. They both kind of look the same. I just prefer the rubber one because I don't like the, how shiny this one is. But it looks like kind of the same exact style. Uh, the head is still the usual Padme head for me. <laughs> there we go from 2013 and um, the torso and gown piece are from the elf minifigure that came out in a CMF series I think it was 16 or so I'll put the right number of series in the in the comments or description I mean if I'm wrong about that I did replace the arms though and I gave her some light blue arms I got these from the Albus Dumbledore minifigure from series one of Harry Potter uh, in 2017, the uh, the Dumbledore had the uh, the light blue gown from the third movie, The Prisoner of Azkaban, and that one. And uh, I replaced the arms that the elf had because they were like yellow and gunmetal gray, and I thought the light blue would match better. And it looks like they do. It's like the right color. So, and then I gave her this cape from Vitruvius. Actually, you can use either the regular Vitruvius or the Ghost Vitruvius. I just thought it kind of looked right because she had like kind of a little um, cape thing, like, drapery on her shoulders, like a shawl, kind of, and it was kind of sparkly, so I thought this kind of worked well. Now, I can show you how she looks without it, just for kicks and giggles, if you would like to see that, and I think she looks pretty good without the cape as well, so I can give you that look as well. There you go. This is without the cape. It looks good. Um, yeah, I think it works well. I, the cape was also kind of nice because it would cover that little bit of yellow, which is kind of weird because, you know, this figure came from a yellow elf, not a tan a flesh elf. Um, so that's one little issue with it, but I can show you with the other hairstyle. This is another way I like to have a cape with this version of Padme. But yeah, it's a pretty simple figure that I just thought of on a whim today. And I was like, hey, let's try it. And I think she turned out pretty well, better than I thought she would. So... Please like and subscribe to my channel if you dig this, and alrighty then, head on a spike out!